One, two, three. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Uh, 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 tuna. Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel. My name is Pete. If you haven't been here before, then welcome. And if you are new, uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, and if you just subscribed, because I've had uh, some um, new subscriber recently, uh, welcome to you as well. Uh, this is another little episode of Tone Tasting here on my channel. Um, Basically, all it is is that I take a pedal, plug it in, and just give you some tones. Don't really talk about loads of stuff about them because you can just go on Google and check out um, the links below for these two pedals. Now, today I'm gonna look at two pedals here from a good friend, Mike Demas, uh, and he's a guitar player in the band Skindred. Uh, he has collabed with uh, another great friend of mine, uh, Adrian Thorpe from Thorpe FX, uh, which I um, which I clap with uh, Adrian doing the Dane, of course. And uh, this is their little brain chart. Uh, Red Beard FX today. I've got the Red Mist Mark IV and the Honey Badger. And you know what Honey Badgers are like? They're not very nice. Just ask Mick Taylor. He knows about that stuff. Anyway, today I'm running into a Laney GH30R. Uh, which is a new little thing I'm trying out. That's going into the aux box, and in there you are getting a, um, you yeah, know, a cap, simulated cap, and a clean tone on this uh, Brit Daniel uh, Telecaster from Fender. Sounds like this on a G chord. So let's start with the Red Mist pedal Mark IV. Uh, it is a distortion pedal with a little bit of extra something. You've got an active three band EQ, you've got a gain, you've got a volume, you've got a man with the beard. I wonder who that man with that beard is. Um, I'll give you one guess. Really quickly before we go on, these are packed really nicely. Uh, they're powered by uh, Red Beardium here. You get, I think my kids have probably already stolen the stickers, but they come in these nice, super cool little packed in these super little cool little coffee bags. You get like a pick, you get a, um, so you get a couple of stickers. See, I told you, some of the kids have stolen the stickers and put them somewhere in the house. Oh, and there's a little keychain, this is really cool, picks, and a little thank you note saying for purchasing one of our first pedals uh, to be entered into our monthly merch giveaway. Post a photo of your new pedals using the hashtag, hashtag Redbeardium. So why don't you jump on and do that? But now, anyway, here's the G chord again. Back pickup of uh, the Telecaster. Uh, might try with Humbug a bit. And here is the Red Mist. Let's start with everything at 12. Neck pick up. Back pick up, middle pick up. Oh wow, okay, let's try and see how much gain there is. So let's go down here. So that's the gain all the way down. Just gonna turn myself up a bit so I can hear better. It's coming out of the ox. I mean, that could be in shocking territory. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take it back to 12. Let's do the treble first. Lots of treble in this, uh, it's, it's the active EQ. Woo! And now let's go on to the uh, mids. Holy moly. <laughs> All the way up with the mids. I really like that. Scooping the mitts sounds like you need to kind of uh, add some of this in. to get put up some volume there. Wow, that active EQ is just so thorpy. I mean, that is just a pedal uh, with loads of tones in it. Talking of coffee, I was gonna have a sip. Uh, not sponsored by anything. Uh, do you wanna try to hear it with a um, humbugger guitar? Let's do that. Okay, so we are back in the room. I've now got this uh, Ibanez AZ242 um, on the back pickup here, and that's the clean tone. I think it's slightly hotter, so I'm just going to turn it down a slightly here. Let's see what that does. It's cool. And here is everything on 12 with the humbugger. Can you do those? We've got that quack, quack, quack.
it works really well with a humbug as well. Right, okay, let's move on to the uh, honey batter. Coffee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the room and now it is the honey batter's turn. In real life, honey batters are not really nice, um, according to Mick Taylor. Um, he says they are just not very nice. Uh, but this, however, should be nice and angry, which is probably why it's called a honey badger. Anyway, so again, on the top here, you've got the volume, you've got a divide switch, which uh, divides, it gives you minus two and minus one octave down. Then you've got a two band EQ, you've got an octave. Uh, to just give you more octave and then you got the fuss of course volume you got a switch for on you got a switch for the octave on and I don't think the octave is separate it doesn't work separately uh, but just to try that we just did so here's the clean tone again here's the honey badger I just had to dial the volume down because there's a lot of output in that guy. I'm on the back pocket pickup still. So those two doesn't do, they don't do anything when this is not engaged. So let's try the fuss side first. So the fuss here, bass and treble. Try this uh, with a tone control. How much fuss is in here? There's so much fuss that you can hear me talking. I'm dialing the volume down here. and how little force is there. This way it kind of gets that spitty Velcro-y. That's awesome. Okay, let's try the treble. So are your ears. All day long, man. I can play these things all day long. Anyway.
Let's kick that octave in. Something about finding the sweet spot. With Foss and the octave at the same time. Humbuggers, you ask. Well, let's find out. There we go. So that's a clean tone. Here's a honey badger. Here's the octave. together. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Honey Badger Octofuzz and the Red Mist Mark IV from Red Beard Effects. 
super cool looking uh, metal enclosure boxes here. They just look and sound great. Yeah, so well done to Mikey and Adrian for creating some super cool pedals with some super cool tones and really just, you know, one of those things that is really difficult these days to actually get into that market and do something that's a little bit different from anything else. These certainly are. Well done, guys. Uh, links below. Uh, you can buy them from Anderson's, of course, and uh, I'll put some links below uh, for the uh, Red Beard Effects website where you can go and check all of that stuff out. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, let me know in the comment section below. And if there's anything else you would like me to see uh, do in the future, or see or do see me do in the future, then please let me know. Uh, I'm Pete. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like, and uh, I will see you in a video soon near YouTube. Or something like that. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Peace. Uh oh, 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 tuna. Tuna, 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 tuna. Tuna. BX tuna. BX tuna. Hey, I'm BX tuna. Apollo. Bass and guitar tuna.